Yo, all right, guys. So just for the Patreon folk. Oh wait, this is the intro for YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. Why didn't? Why aren't you starting back with your X Man? You're like. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, guys, so X-Men was freaking sick. X2 was even better, but apparently this chick ain't dead. He's not. This is the part where I tell you to like, comment, subscribe. Come join the channel, man. We're having a lot of fun over here. Don't miss out and hit us up on Patreon if you want more content. X-Men 3. Let's go. This came out in 2006. Where were you guys, where were you guys doing life at that time? <laughs> Everyone does that, right? Do it. So this came out when you were in middle school. Yeah, I was just a young man back then. A little pup. Just making my way through the halls, you know what I'm saying? Probably getting shoved in lockers, you little... Discussing how much facial hair I didn't have. <laughs> Gray, 1769. Did that mean what year it was, or is that mm -hmm. just their address? This ain't the 1700s, baby. They got cars. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Can we, what, can we delete wrong? that? Nope. We were rolling with that. I didn't think about that, okay? <gasps> Charles. We're not going to have to meet every one of them in person, are we? No. Oh, this is a start. This one's special. Yeah, a lot has changed yeah, in 20 years. John, don't you think? Yeah, the brochure is great. But what about Jean? What about her illness? Illness? John. You think your daughter is sick, Mr. Gray? Perhaps it would be best if we were to speak to her alone. We'll um, leave you then. He's like, I'm getting out of here, bro. Mm -hmm. He looks so young, don't he? They all look so young. It's very rude, you know, to read my thoughts or Mr. Lynch's without our permission. Mm -hmm. We are mutants, Jean. We are like you. I doubt that. Whoa, look at her lifting the cars. Man, she's doing the no look, too. <laughs> she's got that junk under control. She's been practicing. Stan! Stan! Oh, Charles. <laughs> I like this one. You have more power than you can imagine, Jean. The question is, will you control that power or let it control you? Man, Stan's been putting in work, low-key. Yeah, hard work. That's like what, 35 cameos at least he's been in? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What's going on? I don't know. I'm going to throw up. Warren? <gasps> Son, is everything all right? Good. Who's Warren? Those sound What's effects. What's going on in there? I know. Nothing. I'll be right out. Open the door. <laughs> Warren. One second. What's on his back? Oh. He's. Oh. Open this door. How does he Warren? have all those tools? on his back some wings oh that poor dude <laughs> mm. oh god oh that poor kid he really did have wings dad i'm sorry Ooh, man that's so gruesome that poor kid oh and he was sitting there trying not to have them he's yeah. sawing them off i mean i can understand the reaction though dude like if your son turns out to have wings and stuff you'd be like what in the world probably not gonna be great but that's sad though he's in there just gnawing them off dude the last stand let's go y'all What's that mean? What's the last stand? I guess mean? it's the last stand, man. Like things are going down. Is this a trilogy or something? Well, no, there's a lot more of these movies, so apparently this isn't the last stand. <laughs> there's a few more stands. About seven of them. Look at her just flying. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was rogue. Yeah, because she can get his power right if she touches him. His name is Bobby, right? Bobby! If you don't know a boyfriend's name in a movie, it's just Bobby. Remember, maybe less talking equals more views. No. <laughs> what in the world? Logan? Oh, don't get your panties in a bunch. Oh. That was my last cigar. Logan! It's getting closer! Come on! What is let's that? Keep Logan, we work as a team! Throw they back. are working as a team if he's no. about to throw them. Damn it, Logan! Don't do this! Send us a media. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Nice. Good job, Logan. Class dismissed. What is that thing? Whoa. Hey, classes. Yo, simulation. Nice Fake. Really? You can really get in there. You don't have to risk your ex, man. Yeah, that's smart. Complete. So Dang, they just practice? Fire. Dang. Yeah, that's a simulation room. That's sick. What the hell was that? Dang, Dang Storm looks cooler every movie. You know what I mean. It was a defensive exercise. Yeah, best defense is a good offense. Aww. Oh, yeah. He's still down in the pits, ain't he? That's who Gene should be with. He's the only one that cares. <laughs> hey, I don't think that's fair. Have I ever put any pressure on you? You're a guy, Bobby. Your mind's only on one thing. Dang. 
Bobby seems so nice. Hey, Scott, we'll see why that type of guy does he play. I hope care? not. Look, I know how you feel. Don't. When Gene died, I said don't. Maybe it's time for us to move on. He said us like it's a love triangle or something. I know. Not everybody heals as fast as you, Logan. Literally, Logan. The government got bigger. What in the... <laughs> Mr. Secretary? Yes. What? The meeting's begun, sir. Thank you. Ooh. That's the secretary, a mutant? Right. Mr. President, have a seat, Hank. Homeland Security was tracking Magneto. Where is Magneto? Raven. Raven, I asked you a question. I don't answer to my slave name. Raven Darkholm, that's your real name, isn't it? Or is my he slave convinced name. You, you don't have a family anymore? My family tried to kill me, you pathetic meat sack. Okay, then, Mystique, where is he? In here, with us. <laughs> I don't want to play games with you. I want answers. You don't want to play games <laughs> with me? <laughs> you are going to stop this. Tell me, where is Magneto? You want to know where he is? Oh. Yeah, they don't even have her legs shackled. They're oh, wow. wild over that. Oh, and she said homo sapien. You know, her capture was a book, Magneto. This is. It's what she stole from the FDA. Dear Lord. Leech. That's so cool. We're not hiding, but we still have enemies out there. And I must protect my students. You know that. Yes, but we can't be students forever. <laughs> Storm, I hadn't thought of you as my student for years. In fact, I thought that perhaps you might take my place someday. But Scott's... Scott's a changed man. He took Jean's death so hard. Yes, things are better out there. But you of all people know how fast the weather can change. There's something you're not telling us. <laughs> he just drives off. So the president's a mutant now. I thought they said the secretary. He's on, he said a he's on the cabinet. <laughs> oh, is he? Who's the furball? Hank McCoy, Secretary of Mutant Affairs. Right, right. Oh, I see. Secretary. Henry, this is Logan. He's Wolverine. Um, I hear you're quite an animal. <laughs> Ditto. You know, Magneto's not going to get mystique, right? Magneto's not the problem. A major pharmaceutical company has developed a mutant antibody, a way to suppress the mutant X gene. Suppress? Permanently. They're calling it a cure. Well, that's ridiculous. Oh, wow. You can't cure being a mutant. Well, scientifically speaking. Since when do we become a disease? Interesting. So they have a cure that can suppress the so gene. I mean, it should be people's choice, like right? Us. You want to take it, you can take it. But then again, if you're a child, how can you? Right, you don't have a choice. Of healthy cellular or maybe. Right. Finally, we have a cure. Who That's kind of offensive. <laughs> is it true? They can cure us? I mean, like, for someone like her, though, you would want it. Right. No, Professor. They can't cure us. You want to know why? Because there's nothing to cure. Nothing's wrong with you. Or any of us, for that matter. The problem that I'm having, it's not like every mutant has, like, the same exact condition and they're, like, one. Everyone's completely different. Bringing our complaints to the right people. They want to exterminate us. This cure is voluntary. Nobody's talking about extermination. No one ever talks about it. Uh-oh. They just do it. <laughs> And then one day when the air is still and the night has fallen, will you join my brotherhood and fight or wait for the inevitable genocide? The way they're talking about like forcing vaccines and junk, it sounds like COVID, doesn't it? Is that Miles? Yo, from Lost. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Guy in a cape. Back off. Oh. You're there so he proud is. of being a mutant. Where's your mark? You know who you're talking to? <laughs> do you? Dang, pufferfish. Porcupine. And what can you do? Hmm. So, you have talents. That and more. I know you control metal. And I know there's 87 mutants in here, none of them above a class three, other than you two. Mm -hmm. You can sense other mutants in their past. Could you locate one for me? <laughs> Charles. So he's walking around just like gathering his army. Yeah. This is nuts. Guys, this world is so freaking complicated. I love it. Yeah, because now that they made the cure, it's like even nut more nuts. Like, so it many It makes parallels. it so much more of like a, like, Complication. Let me out of here. I demand that you release me. Do you know who I am? I'm the president of the United States. Oh, Mr. President. Shut up. Oh. He didn't vote for him. <laughs> Obviously not. Me. Let me down. Keep it up. I'll spray you in the face, bitch. Oh. <laughs> when I get out of here, I'm going to kill you myself. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Mystique is honestly an awesome character. <laughs> yes, I love her. 
I love her character. Which is weird because she's just been like tormenting me for three and, movies now. And she's a bad guy, but I still like her character. Secretary McCoy, welcome to Worthington Labs. Thank you, Dr. Rao. Not an easy place to get to. It's the safest location we could find. That's why we keep the source of the cure here. How long will you keep the boy here? Until we can fully map his DNA. We can replicate it, but we can't generate it. So, like, the mutants have different levels, like classifications. Uh -huh. Like weapons. I wonder what's the highest. Hi. My name is Hank McCoy. Whoa! Whoa. He takes away mutants' powers. That's not good. I'm sorry. He's the... So the cure. Maybe his blood. But I thought it was a pill. Maybe they grinded some of his skin off and made a little <laughs> pill out of it. Or did they take his blood? I mean, like, I feel like if mutants are born with mutant powers, those are, like, God-given, right? Mm hmm You shouldn't just take them away. Who, like, you're, who are you so to take it away? Yes, I guess. She's communicating with him somehow, right? Tele I don't know. Telepathically? Stop it! Stop! 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 Oh my god. What in the... Did he make a cyclone because his name is Cyclops? You mean a whirlpool? Good up, Cyclops. You're an X-Man. Yeah, to press one. My angel has Yo, been so much need. There she is. Is that really her, though? That's her. That's she was different. I told y'all she wasn't dead, man. I just... I felt it. How? I love her hair. I don't know. Let's go, dude. I mean, if you're Scott, you couldn't get luckier, right? All he did was like, how did he summon her? I don't get it. I want to see your eyes. Oh. Trust me, I can control it now. Oh, she was down there learning. Open them. She must have went and met up with some supreme beings and learned all the wisdoms of the universe or something. Whoa. Whoa, she controlled it. They're about to have the best sex of their life. She can finally look in his eyes. <laughs> look at her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? I don't know. Professor, you okay? Get to Alkali Lake. Do you like Halle Berry's hair right now? I actually think it looks really cool. Her, I told you, she looks cool every single mo like movie. It's she's like one up in her last one. His hair is cool as hell though. I like his. I like that he doesn't do the little like little thing. Logan! She's alive. Oh, it's, oh. Well, then where's Scott? The only explanation of Jean's survival is that her powers wrapped her in a cocoon of telekinetic energy. It's a smart Jean diagnosis. Ray is the only class five mutant I've ever encountered. Her potential practically limitless. Her class mutation five. is seated in the unconscious part of her mind, and therein lay the danger. When she was a girl, I created a series of psychic barriers to isolate her powers from her conscious mind. And Nuts. as a result, Jean developed a dual personality. She knew all this? It's unclear how much she knew. What have you done to her? Logan, you have to understand. You're talking about a person's mind here, about Jean. She has to be controlled. You have no idea of what she is capable of. Yeah, it sounds like he's just talking. I had no idea what you were capable of. I had a terrible choice to make. I chose the lesser of two evils. So Jean's the most powerful mutant. Yeah. Even Class stronger five. than the professor. History will be made here what today. is Magneto? Four or five. Time, the mutant cure they haven't said yet. Available to the public. I mean, dude, yeah, I can see both sides. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm saying. This is so like... But if you're a mutant, you have to have compassion and understand that some mutants aren't as fortunate in their powers as you. Yeah. Hello, Warren. How are you, son? You sleep well? That was that little boy. Yeah, I was about to say, that's his wings. dad. I'm proud of you for doing this. <gasps> oh, no. Because his, his name was Warren. His name was Warren. I promise. But he doesn't look like he needs it, though. You ready? He just has wings. Who wouldn't want that? Maybe he just doesn't want to have wings because it's like not good with the ladies he's pursuing. I feel like y'all can stroke these wings y'all want to. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so they have to get something from the little boy, right? Because they're injecting something. Man, don't do it, brother. He, you see him? He has them all strapped down and stuff. Dad, can we talk about this for a sec? We've talked about it, son. Wait, I can't do this. Who is that? I've seen Calm him. Down. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Okay, just, just relax. Yo, let me know what this dude plays in. I can't do this. I promise you. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Just Fine. 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 Relax. That's what I'm saying. You think he's bad with the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> no. Those wings are so huge, though. I was not expecting them to be that like that. Is this his first flight? I don't think so. Things grow back though, like a damn lizard tail. These don't try to cut them off. 
Good for him. I'm glad he didn't lose his wings. If I had those, I wouldn't want to lose them. Right. Because imagine how fast you could get somewhere if you don't want to sit in traffic. Right. But if I look like a dang tree frog, I might want it. <laughs> Magneto. <laughs> that light work. That, that is so scary, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like you're in that car. What do you do with this guy? <laughs> him controlling this stuff is so good. Oh boy. Told you so. He's so freaking cool, dude. Did you find what you were looking for? The source of the cure is a mutant. A child at Worthington Labs. Without him, they have nothing. Read off the guest list. James Madrix. <laughs> what? I could use a man of your talents. I'm in. Welcome to the Brotherhood. <laughs> I don't even understand how that has anything to do with, like, genetics. <laughs> Kane Marco. Solitary confinement. Now, check this out. Prisoner must be confined at all times. If he builds any momentum, no object can stop him. How fascinating. He's like a snowball. <laughs> what do they call you? Juggernaut. Man, you better you make stop. A to our army. Yeah. No! <gasps> game over. Your heart is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was that the cure? <gasps> Man, you should have. Dang, she just went her whole life without clothes. You're not one of us anymore. Oh, wow. Dang, he'll just turn on you like that? Dang, that was crazy. I know. You think resigning's gonna make a difference? That's no way to influence policy. Policy is being made without me, Mr. President. Well, yeah, but at the same time, there's Magnetos out there. You need something like that. Yeah, I know. It's like tough. And I worry about how democracy survives when one man can move cities with his mind. As do I. So eventually war's got to come, right? Wouldn't you see that? And he knows that too. That's why he has to resign. Dang. Gene. She might be too much woman for you, Logan. Hi, Logan. Welcome back. But didn't you like just kiss Scott? Scott's swimming right now. Or the Phoenix comes out? Yeah, she's going to suck the life out of him like a succubus. <laughs> <laughs> why do you make that cringe face? <laughs> what the heck? Yes, it is me. No, maybe you ought to take it easy, huh? Professor said you might be different. You need to tell me what happened to Scott. Gee, tell me what happened to him. He's probably just sitting out there with his eyes closed somewhere. Is that you, Magneto? Look at me. I think she's doing it. I think she was trying to tell Can us that she's got a screw loose. A few of them. Look at me. Look at me. Focus. Focus, G. Kill me. Oh, my gosh. Kill me before I kill someone else. The professor can help. He can fix it. I don't want to fix it. Oh, my God. Why don't she just put her head back in that helmet real quick? You ain't about to do nothing to that girl. That girl will whoop your butt. Without even, like, having to touch you. Voluntary. They put the cure in the gun. I told you they would draw first blood. So yeah, that's not voluntary. They only use it because you commandeered the whole the whole prison bus. True that too, though. I picked something up. An electromagnetic force. It's massive. It's a mutant. It's Class Jean. five. More powerful than anything I've ever felt. More powerful than you. Okay, so he's four. Where is she? <laughs> he said 4.7, actually. Logan. <laughs> Jean. Jean. What happened? What have you done? I think she killed Scott. What? He didn't do anything. She the mansion, but she's trying to block my No, thoughts. he, he so woke strong. her up. Yeah, but it ain't his fault she killed Scott. Oh, so they have to go to the parents' house. Here. What? I need to see Jean alone. You were right, Charles. This one is special. What the hell are you doing here? Same as the professor, visiting an old friend. Evil. I came to evil, bring evil, Jean evil. home. Don't interfere, Eric. Just like old times, huh? Nobody gets inside. I knew you'd come. Of course. I've come to bring you home. So you want to control me? No. He does. No. I want to help you. Help me. What's wrong with me? For your own good, Jean. <laughs> Stay out of my head. Get out of my head. Why is this happening to her? 
because she had an NDE and she's just very like disorganized in her mind. I don't because she has a whole entire human in her head that she's never really experienced before. This suppressed version of herself. You killed the man you love because you couldn't control your power. But I guess it got worse when she thought she died. Uh oh. What do you mean it got worse? Like. She wasn't doing all this before. Well, because before she was Jean, right? She had an identity. But when she died, her true powers had to come out. And when her true powers finally came out, she almost became something completely different than she is. So she has two personalities inside of her head now. Oh. She's okay. having a really hard time even knowing who she is. <laughs> and she's got like split personalities. She's scary. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Your country could win wars with her. <laughs> Oh my god. Is she doing that or is he? It's hard to tell. Or is he? I think she's doing it. Oh my gosh, look at her. I guess she had to die to come back as the Phoenix, the rising Phoenix, you know? Dang, even Magneto saying no. Don't let it control you. <laughs> No way. That's how you kill off a character right there, bro. Yeah, he got taken out at the molecular level. She just got buried underwater. I knew she was coming back. That man dead. No way. D-E-D, -D, dead. Come with me. What the heck? Man, she really just killed him, didn't she? I don't know, man. No way, dude. Not the professor. Look at his wheels. They have an X on it. I never even noticed that. We live in an age of darkness. They're still selling that lamp a like 20 something years later. Fear, hate, and intolerance. Charles Xavier was born into a world divided. He may be gone, but his teachings live on through us, his students. Wherever we may go, we must carry on his vision. Man, that's a blow to their community, though, man. He's the only one out there doing the good, the good stuff. Well, he built that whole place that they're in, though, you know? Xavier came to my house. Yeah, I, I just miss home. The first snow and all that. I saw the ice skates. I knew he's about to freeze us up. That'd be so cool for my drink. <laughs> oh, no, Rogue's going to see that. <laughs> Ain't she like a little girl, though? You wild for that, Bobby. You got balls, dude. Your girl's right there. Jeez. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe the professor. That's nuts. What are we gonna do now? I would've killed the professor if he'd given me the chance. Charles Xavier did more for mutants than you'll ever know. Respect. My single greatest regret is that he had to die for our dream to live. The Birdman. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I know this is a bad time. I was told that this was a safe place for mutants. It was, son. And it still is. We'll find you a room. Hank, tell all the students the school stays open. Let's go, Storm. Where are you going? What do you think? She's gone, Logan. She's not coming back. You don't know that. She killed the professor. It wasn't Jean. The Jean I know is still in there. She made her choice. Now it's time we make ours. So if you're with us, then be with us. Yeah, true. Motorcycle Logan. Is that Scott's bike still? <laughs> Really, dude? This is exactly why they think they're, they need a cure. Today's attack was only our first salvo. So long as the cure exists, our war will rage. Your I cities will not issue. be safe. Your streets will not be safe. You will not be safe. And to my fellow mutants, I make you this offer. Join us or stay out of our way. We cannot let him do this. You have to find Magneto and stop him by any means necessary. Magneto wants a war. We'll give him one. Here we go. Keep Let's go. Turn I gotta see where this franchise weapons. is headed. Turn it all metal. Objects. Pick up your plastic weapons. <laughs> Pick up your cure cartridge. Absolutely no metal. All it takes is a mutant that can control plastic, and they're just done. I know. Plastico. And they're gonna start using damn silicone. Silicone out. <laughs> the anxiety. 
Dang. Oh, that's Magneto. That's metal, right? Oh, no. Whoa. Logan's gotta be like a class four, right? You know, man, it'd be hard to put him in that category because he's not psychic. Like, he could run around calling people all day and he could go a whole lifetime. But his Hulk regenerates. They have their weapons. We have ours. Dean Gray. We will strike with a vengeance and a fury that this world has never witnessed. We have a satellite feed of Magneto's base of operations. How did we find it? She gave us everything we wanted and more. Oh, Missy. Wow. No fury like a woman scorned. Approaching target dead ahead. They're surrounding him. It's going to be that guy that can multiply himself. What? He makes copies of himself. The guy. Remember the guy who can make multiply, um, multiple copies of himself? It's going to be him. This There's going to be like a thousand of him. One. We are green to go. Oh, you're probably right. Because they're like idle walking. That's why they introduced that guy. Yeah. Told you. Uh -huh. <laughs> they thought they had something. They said we hit a lick, boy. Okay. I give up. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Secretary. It was a decoy. If he's not there, then where the hell is he? Worthington Labs. It ends where it began. Are you sure the boy is still inside? A hundred percent. So how are we supposed to get there? Because I don't swim. That dude looks like a bingo marker. Storm! I need help. You found her? Yeah, she's with Magneto. Where are they? They're on the move. I know where they're going. You're saying you saw Magneto? Yeah, gotta go now. They're gonna attack Alcatraz. Can you estimate how many he has? An army. NG. His powers have limits. Hers do not. There's only six of us, Logan. That's right. And we stand together. X-Men. All of us. For the professor. They're ready. And Cyclops. Yeah, I know. But mainly the professor. Are you ready to do what you need to do when the time comes? Kill Jean. Yeah, because he loves her. But how is he going to kill her, though? Because she's so powerful. Maybe that metal that she he has in his arms can... I don't know. This is about to take place on this freaking bridge right here. This is about to be epic. Let's go, guys. If you're still here, thank you guys so much for the support. It's going down. <laughs> Thanks for watching and tuning in. Oh, it's coming apart. Oh, look how big those are. How scary would that be, though? <laughs> His acting is too good, though. Yo, he can control that whole bridge? It's metal. So he can literally bring down cities just with his thoughts. He just went on the camera right now. <laughs> no oh, way. God. He fly, you fools. What the heck? Like you just see a bridge coming at you, no gun stopping that. Charles always wanted to build bridges. Whoa. Why has he got to bring Charles into this? Whoa. My God. That dude's serious. Boys in the southeast corner of the building. Well then. Let's take it down! <laughs> Whoa, this is gonna be crazy. Man, if this happened in real life, like in real life in this universe, you know what I'm saying? They would talk about this for the next 300 years. This mm -hmm. war that popped off. In chess, the pawns go first. <laughs> Kill them off. Humans and their guns. Oh. Yeah, they don't work, man, you know. Plastic, but learned. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's why the pawns go first. Ah! 
Dark light, use your shockwaves. Target those weapons. That was crazy. They whoa, shattered them. Let's go. I mean, I don't want them to shatter them. I'm kind of rooting against these guys. I don't know who I'm rooting for. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just here. Going I mean, I'm rooting for these mutants, but not those mutants. It's complicated. I know. I don't know why I want Magne tanks. Magneto to get the boy. I don't know why, but I maybe for the Where drama. Are our ground troops. Thirty minutes away. Then God help us. They're coming for him. Let's go. The team pulled up. Come on, man. You gotta make a choice, girl. Why didn't Magneto just make their like helicopter thing fly away? Their ship. Again. <laughs> <laughs> you men come at the doors! Everybody get together! And hold this line! Finish them! <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> he can fight. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you would keep her around just so we can know everyone's like levels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Go inside, get the boy, and kill it. I don't know what you thought was about to happen. I thought he was gonna go get him, and then Magneto was gonna lose his powers. He's going for the boy! Not if I get there first! Oh my God. No, he didn't. Oh my. Out of here. Oh no. She can't leave. She's gonna walk through the wall and this way. Get dropped. Oh my god. What's going on? <clears throat> Your powers won't work with me. I'm the wrong guy to play hide and seek with. Who's <laughs> hiding? Dickhead. It kinda looks like one of Not oh. Dang, I just got what you said. What? <laughs> He kind of looks like one don't he? He kind of does. He's like, oh, all right. Do I only wanted to help you people. Do we look like we need your help? Oh, I don't know, bro. That's kind of terroristic if you don't, you know, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> That's his dad. Who is this dude? That's though? his dad. Well, I know, but who is it though? It's Birdman. I wish I could do that noise. I wish I could point, put my finger on who that dude is. Dang, and he's on the fence. Oh. It's time to end this war. Oh, he's about to throw cars at him. Fiery cars. Look at that. Go, go. <laughs> Bobby, where you at? Yeah, there's four right there. We work as a team. Best defense is a good offense. Bobby, you think you can take out your old friend? Oh, here we go. We finally get that one on one. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We need it. Look at that guy. He's like, hell no. Mm -hmm. Trying me up. Blockage. Go ahead. Storm, wait, I need some cover. But I bet the guy who throws fire definitely thinks the guy who throws ice is soft, though. Mm -hmm. No, Gene, don't get involved. Dang. He's besting you, bro. Oh, burning them up. You're in over your head, Bobby. I need to go back to school. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, he's evolving. Whoa. You never should have left. <laughs> hey, let me get a strike. <laughs> I love that he throws him. <laughs> oh, that was just a distraction, obviously. 
You never learn, do you? Oh, four? Let's see. His whole identity's gone now. Yeah, what, if he's a regular schmangler, what's he about to do? One of them. About to go work at Lowe's. <laughs> he's so dramatic. He's like, oh! It's like the school play death. Right. This is what they want for all of us. No way. He's just about to be Eric. Man, it's got his it. shot, his boosters, all that. One in one go, didn't he? No, don't shoot! Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Whoa. Let's go, Dean. Maybe. No! You gotta do what you gotta do, Logan. No! You gotta finish it. <sighs> oh, my gosh. So she's like powerful, powerful. Like if she would have been in the Avengers movies, we'd have been blown away. Mm -hmm. But she's like kind of a villain right now. Well, not right now. What have I done? I'm the only one who can stop her. Get everyone to safety. Go. Gene! We're gonna stick your tongue in here. What's he gonna do? I don't know. Destruction, period. Right. She it doesn't, doesn't matter even have who. to Thanos snap. She can just do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is or what it is. She can just destroy it with, with everything. I wouldn't dare say she's stronger than like a Thanos, would you? I don't know. I mean, he needed all those stones. She doesn't. What, bro? Keith! I know you're still there! Oh, he's regenerating. That looks like that hurts. I know. Because he's supposed to be little rocks right now. Did you see the metal vertebrae? Oh my god. Well, I guess that wasn't his vertebrae, but you know. You would die for them? No. Not for them. For you. Save me. Don't do it. Oh, I knew it was coming, man. No. Oh. That is so much worse than when she died the first time, man. So much worse. And mostly because... I don't want to see her go. She's the strongest character we've met so far. Like, I want her to stay. I want her to know more. I wish I could be a little more emotional for that, but she's been like a bad guy the whole time. And then, you know, I didn't really get to know her that well, but that sucks. Oh, she's gone for real. What you the think heck, she's gone man? now, baby? I don't she coming know. Back? I don't know. Well, you got to tell us. They want to know. I don't know. That's sad, man. There's three people. You're back. I'm sorry. I had to. This isn't what I wanted. I know. It's what I want. What? She did it. Wow. I mean, that's good, though, in a way. Like, I, I want them to be together. She doesn't right. have to be a mutant. But I want her powers, though. Yeah. Well, her powers weren't very, so like, with the thanks of a grateful nation, the beneficial guy our for her, but they're for the, the team. United Nations and the representative to the world for all United States citizens, human and mutant alike, Dr. Hank McCoy. Way to go, Furball. Thank you very much. That's like half the dang team. Did they rebuild? Oh, no. Yeah, they're rebuilding. Hey, y'all better make Magneto go put that jump back. He can't. He's just Eric now. Yeah, I don't care. Y'all better go find somebody that can move metal. Oh, that better not be him. He's the metal pieces. Why do I feel sad for him? Dumb, y'all. Let's go. That was dope. You can suppress it, he said, but hey, I can suppress my biology for everywhere or forever. Morning. Hello, Moira. Charles. 
Charles. What in the world? All right, guys, so that was X3. Man, that might have been the best X-Men movie yet. That one was crazy. Loved it. What do you think? I thought it was insane. I thought adding the cure added a whole nother layer of like the so chaos. Crazy, yeah. Right? Wow. Like you just, it's so complicated to even fathom this now. Yeah. Like it makes it even more and more like crazy. And now the fact that like Magneto not only is like a normal guy. Well, as you saw, he can. But he can it, he's not a normal guy, but you know what I'm saying? Like they tried to make him a normal guy, but he's like obviously something. Maybe he's weaker. Well, maybe that thing just like suppresses your maybe it suppresses your mutant gene so much that it basically becomes non-existent. But deep down, I mean, you can't cure what someone Well, depending is. on how high of a class maybe you are. Maybe you think because he was so powerful. Maybe four right. wasn't enough. He needed like 18. Maybe so. So that was crazy, man. So apparently this cure thing is not really a cure. It's kind of like, well, kind of like the Pfizer jump, bro. Not really a cure. Well, maybe like they vaccine. haven't had time to like, you know, like you really, you can't say it will last the rest of your life because they haven't had time to test that. So. They sold it like that though. Didn't yeah, they? they did. Anyways, man, crazy movie. Love the idea that a vaccine was introduced. A cure actually was introduced. It makes things very complicated and it raises a very ethical question. If you are a mutant, should you be offended by the idea that this thing is even thought of? Like this, this vaccine is so offensive to some mutants, and I can understand that perspective. I really right, can but I can see it on both sides, though. You know, but I saying? am a human, so at the same time, we saw how dangerous one mutant can be. I mean, one mutant could have destroyed the planet, basically. Right. So it's just so complicated, man. With these cures, it's like the guy said, um, you know, you don't shed when you sit on the couch, but I do. Right. You know, and so it's like it's a lot of a lot of them, like you know when you see them like face value they just look like humans mm -hmm. that guy's basically saying like i don't look like a human so it's hard it's easier for you to say that than for me right and a lot of these mutants i'm starting to realize their powers aren't necessarily something generic they're not they blessings you know what i'm exactly. saying exactly a lot of yeah. people have very very destructive powers like that one guy like i don't know what his name is cyndaquil i'm gonna call him cyndaquil he was taking them like quills out of his wrist and throwing them things i was like what the heck that guy right there was just He's a machine for war, and I mean, right. that's really all there is to it. He has no other purpose other than to like stab you with those. So, extremely complicated world, man. This, this but franchise I, is I going hard. I can see hard, dude. how when you're in positions like that, like, you know, the lady, a lot of those ones that are just like kind of misfit uh, mutant powers that like aren't really beneficial. They're yeah. like more dangerous. I can see how you would want to join like Magneto's cause, though. I can understand like how you'd feel lost, how or, you'd feel like, you know, how you just don't fit in at all. Like, you're just kind of like, a malicious person well i mean yeah because I, I can definitely understand that because they don't make the choice to be like 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 the syndical guy i was talking about i don't know his name but he's a weapon of war right but he didn't make that choice so right. for him i can empathize the fact that like you know maybe you're not for the humans but at the end of the day like i don't know dude that's just tough there's like, just kind of like no way for them to coincide like in seems. real life if mutants were born and they had like you know the ability to murder you just like based on their genetics and stuff like that then like in real life, I wouldn't be for him. You right. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's tough. It really is tough. Is tough. And like it makes you just have so many moral questions that right. are and hard. They're hard to answer. Yeah. And then at the same time, it's like there are so many mutants who want to use their powers to do like the right thing. And, you know, I do buy that there would be a class of mutants who would be extremely passionate about that. Just mm -hmm. like in this movie, because they give the mutants a bad name when they commit acts like Magneto does. So I can also see why you'd be so passionate to try to like help do the right thing and to like spread a good name for your people. And it's like they said in the movie, man, mutants are not going anywhere. Right. So they have to find a way to coexist. Right. But I know one thing, man, like the politics of the show, like the way that they're bringing, cause you know, in Marvel, right? Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought guys, but in Marvel, I had mentioned before that it'd be really cool to see TV shows based on like, the normal person's perspective mm -hmm. of what it would be like to live in a city infiltrated by like, superheroes and stuff. This job does a really good movie. This movie does a really good job. What is it? You switched it up. Oh, I said this job does a really good movie. <laughs> yeah. This movie does a really good job of like showing us the ramifications of that and showing us how real it can be. From like a human perspective. Absolutely. And that's something that Marvel didn't really do. Like everyone's just all for Spider-Man, but Spider-Man causes a lot of destruction. And you know, I know like the city writes bad about him and some people don't like him, but this one's just more realistic in that way. I really appreciate that and about it's these just, movies. I know it doesn't really matter about that, but it's just a fun perspective. 
like just to see people's like people's interactions with people like this, like a human's interactions with people. Like well, this. you could make like a TV show that had nothing to do with superheroes and just place it like in a universe where superheroes existed. And mm. you could just add so much to the show. Just right. To make it fun. Sorry, I was late. Freaking Spider-Man had a fight on I-85. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're never going to believe it. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, my car actually Magneto flew my car. So like I didn't have a car to get to work. So, like yeah. he just like tossed it over to Staten Island. So or yeah. Alcatraz. Storm came by. Now my alternator is not working. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what I really like about these movies, right. man. Like these movies are so much fun because they're 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 superhero movies at the end of the day, you know. And when you're watching superhero movies, there are there's like a level of like you can't take a superhero movie too serious. Right. This is a superhero right. movie, but these on the other hand are so complex in their because in politics. a way you're going to another universe so that universe, I like this universe. yeah i like this universe, I like this universe a lot the universe actually. is just different so you have to like i've learned this from watching movies on this channel you have to like put yourself in that universe and then not think too seriously of this universe that you're in because if you do they're gonna have a lot of loopholes in that stuff yeah that's something we're trying to get better at yeah <laughs> like sure. like stop being so real of- and yeah like because we're, we're sometimes way too real and it comes off as pessimistic but as we've learned to like put yourself that in true. that world that true. yeah when you put yourself in that world you realize it but i do want to say shout out to charles xavier who is still alive that's all i need to say he's still alive that's great is he yeah, I didn't see him. Well, in the end credits, well, she, I heard it, but I she didn't said see Charles. It. I don't know what that is, guys. I don't really know what that was about. I don't know who that lady was. I don't, I don't know. know who, her name was Moira, apparently. I didn't recognize that place. No, me either. It just looked like a hospital, and it looked like Charles woke up from I don't know how he was shattered. So I don't know how he woke up. I don't. I don't know. So, guys, you know, obviously, the reason we're watching these movies, man, is because we have been on a Marvel journey. So mm-hmm. we started with Iron Man. If you haven't caught up with that, definitely go check them out. But. We're watching these because eventually, like, we just want to continue down that rabbit hole, right? And so we're not exactly sure how many of these movies you guys want us to watch, like, right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Let us know in the comment section after this movie, which direction should we go on our channel in terms of, like, which content do you guys want to see? We want to go in the best possible order to get just the Marvel experience in the best possible Mm -hmm. way. So, you know, do we continue to knock out the X-Men movie all the way until we're done with them? Are there other films that we need to be watching in between? Should we go ahead and start Venom? Uh, when do we get to WandaVision? We just have so many questions, right? So well, you guys just I can tell you what I've seen. Us. The majority say, "Tell us." The majority has said, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. To watch this up until like the one before Deadpool. I don't know what that is. The one before Deadpool, but also we should watch Deadpool because it's like, you know, it looks like a good movie. And well, we're gonna watch everything, guys. That's something we'll watch every single movie that you guys want to see uh, in this. You know, when it comes to superheroes, Marvel, 100%, but we just need to know the right order. But they said, anyways, a lot of people said to watch the one before Deb, watch it up until the one before Deadpool. Don't know how many that is. I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like I know. But they said, watch it then, and then we can watch WandaVision, because I guess whatever we're watching X-Men for has to do with WandaVision. Right, because Wanda is in a uh, mutant. Right. Right. Anyways, guys, so yeah, like I said, there's a lot of these movies, and... The reason that I even say it, guys, is because we do want to go in the best possible order. But like I said, there's a lot of these movies. We don't want to make you guys bored and put out nothing but X-Men. Right. For the next two months on this channel. But if that's what we're supposed to do and if that's what the masses want us to do, we can do that. We don't have an issue with it. But you guys just let us know. Uh, I know opinions will vary, but let us know about the rankings of mutants. And if you have like a really cool and if you have like a really off the wall order that we should do this, that you personally think is right. But, you know, most people probably aren't going to agree. Then we're probably not going to do it that way, Mm -hmm. guys. I'm just being honest because I don't want to have most of the people saying that we're not doing it in the right order. So just a general consensus. What should the next movie be that we watch? Uh, Marvel, Marvel related on the channel. So. Mm -hmm. For Marvel Mondays. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure that I explained that 500 times just in case you guys didn't understand it the first 499. But go ahead. I don't even know what I was saying. Thank you guys so much for hitting us up, man. Like, subscribe. Guys, this channel has been so much fun to grow over the last six or seven months. You guys are the goats. Seriously, we sit back and we look at our channel sometimes and we're just in awe at how supportive you guys have been. We like to go back and just read the comments. We're starting to get to the point where we're recognizing hundreds of you guys at this point. Like genuinely hundreds of you guys. We're starting to recognize because you comment so much so frequently. We do have a Discord. We have an Instagram. Um, You guys can go in there, man. If you guys want a chance to like just talk to us a little bit more. He called someone today. So yeah, I'll I'll put my headphones on and talk to you guys if y'all want. I just joined my little Discord call in my little in our little server. So if you guys want to talk to me and say what's up, come holler at me. We can try to game. Some guy wants to play Rocket League with you. Yeah, we can run some Rocket. Just whatever you guys want to do, man. Uh, 
Just come hit us up on Discord. That's probably the best way to talk to us. So, yeah. All right. I don't have anything else to add here. No, I'm so excited to watch more X-Men. I'm so excited to watch more Game of Thrones. I'm so excited to watch more everything. I can't wait to watch the other Spider-Man. We just have a lot to watch, we guys. So and I'm so excited. Still, we have editors. Uh, I think Mars, you'll be editing this. Uh, yeah, but anyways, guys. So, still, always, we're looking for another editor at this point still. Uh, we do have one on the channel, but... We're trying to get another one because we just want to pump out as much content. And this is all still new, so we're not going to, like, officially announce them and all that crap yet. We're waiting to see how, you know, he adapts and everything works out for everybody. So, All right, guys. Like I said, uh, thank you guys so much for the support. We'll see you all in the next one.